Hey everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. We're out in Quartzsite and we're gonna take a tour of the Gold Eye Mine. I found out about this from my YouTube friend, Go RV Rasp Scotty. So thanks, Scotty. This was a great find. Larry was a longtime miner in Quartzsite. He was born in North Dakota on August 29, 1909. According to what I read, he left his home state to ride the rails through the Midwest, eventually settling in the desert town of Quartzsite. One website said his fellow prospectors described him as a colorful character, often in minimal dress, as a free spirit. Larry's mom and dad were actually already living here in this stone building when Larry arrived. They were friends with another well-known person out here, Joseph Cogne. Joseph built this stone cabin, but he couldn't see the sunsets from here, so he built another stone cabin that's closer to town. Larry started building his cabin around 1946 and finished it in 1947. The roof is long gone now, but as you can see, the contents of the cabin are like walking through a museum. Here's an interesting fact. Larry built an escape hatch on the floor of his cabin. It led to this room behind his house. At one time, Larry possibly lived in the underground room, but part of it's collapsed. And as you can see, it's blocked off now. One visitor noticed there were lots of rods and antennas installed at the top of the mountain behind the mine. I tried to get a good picture. I hope you can see it. It's said that Larry was fascinated with UFOs and that he installed these so he could communicate with aliens. Larry's dad had a heart attack and passed away over here in this area of the property. Larry's mom took his dad's remains and moved back to North Dakota. After that, Larry turned their cabin into a shop where he did auto repairs. Across from here is an old head frame that he used for his mining. It was originally owned by the Kellogg Company, but when they made it rich from the stock market, they abandoned the mine. It's said that the mine shaft goes down over 65 feet. Larry dug out a large room down there, large enough for a kitchen and two bedrooms. It's a constant 72 degrees down there year round. From what Steve Hunt said, there's still enough lumber down there to build a couple of houses. Larry mined his gold eye site for 63 years. In the 60s, metal detecting became popular. Larry had people coming out there to his site, metal detecting while he was working his mine underground. So he came up with this idea. He had the people from the town of Quartzsite bring all their metal junk out there to deter the people from stealing his gold. It took 33 semis to clean up the junk when Larry died. Larry died on December 22, 1996, at the age of 87. According to Steve Hunt, within an hour after he died, people raided his house. 80 ounces of gold was found stashed away in various places around the property, in tobacco and cigarette cans. Larry's ashes were scattered here on his property by his headstone. 